and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Ezreal. Going to be our last deck of the day for our 12-hour stream. We've had a lot of fun playing 10 different decks. I know it's kind of, uh, it's a lot of text up there, but we're going to be finishing up with this control deck, kind of more of a combo deck where we're going to be um, trying to level up Ezreal and, uh, you know, kill our opponent with, with uh, Ezreal. The reason why we're, we're pairing it with Bilgewater is because of how Ezreal acts with Make It Rain. Uh, it does count as targeting for some reason, so we can really level up Ezreal quickly with Make It Rain. Now, the last time that we played this deck, um, we did kind of struggle with larger creatures, and that's something I'm, I'm worried about with Demacia being everywhere. Um, I am worried about how that's going to work. So we took out the Zap Spray Fins, which didn't really feel that great. We took those cards out because uh, also like everything cost four, basically. So wanted to drop some four drops. So there's three of those. Added in a, a third gotcha. Needed, you know, like the gotcha was good. We need to be able to do a little bit more damage. And then I'm putting two Karina Verazas at the top end. I want a way to be able to do a lot of damage to a lot of different things. I want a way to stabilize. Um, so there we go. That's what we're going to have. We're going to have two Karina Verazas chilling at our top end. If it looks like that they're going to be, like, it's early on, we have a Karina Verraza and we're we're struggling to stay alive, everything like that, we do have the rummages, so we can rummage it away also if it gets stuck in our hand. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so that's so that's what we that's what we got. That's what we're gonna try. Here we go. Let's play some Twisted Ezreal. Let's go. Thought about playing some Riptide Rex, but just kind of feel like Plunder may be too difficult to turn on. Karma Callista. That's actually a combination I don't think I've played. So I like it. Of course, our very first uh, game, we're going to have Karina Veraza in our opening hand. And also, I kind of forgot, because it's been a little bit since I played like the Ezreal deck. But honestly, I should mulligan Ezreal. I think, I think with these kind of decks, you should mulligan Ezreal, because it's not something that you need on at turn at three. I think it's something that you want, like you really want to play this card later on after you've leveled it up. So I think you actually mulligan them from the opening hand. Let's go with the pickpocket, see what they do. Nothing, okay, so that thing can't block. Do we actually get to take a free card? Wow, we do. William. No, 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 no. There's a lot of champions you want at the start of the match. Most every champion you want at the start of the match. No, uh, Vi is not on its own of, of like a champion that you want at the start of a match. I would say most of them you do. Hmm. Okay, so bad news, I wasted a card, but good news, kept them from attacking for a turn. Got a free fog effect. Three for Ezreal. I'm not playing the other one until it's leveled up. 
And if I had, if I only had one Ezreal in hand, I wouldn't have played that other one anyway. Round seven, two rounds, we'll get the Karina Vraza. The other thing is I think Karina Vraza is going to play a lot of... It's going to play a good surprise factor. Like, people won't be ready for it, expecting it, anything like that. Darn, I wanted to do one damage to Callista. Six for Ezreal. That's seven and eight. Killing these mushrooms. So this will be interesting. They could go straight to combat and attack for 10. And I am at 10. Oh no no no, they're attacking for 9, because that thing that thing's not leveled up. Let's go, come on. Three plus. Gotta be three, gotta be three. Gotta be three. Four, we'll take it. See, that's just the, like, this card just wins games. That's just the kind of card that, that I think that we were missing last time. We just needed something real powerful at the top end. Make it unblock with karma. Alright, not too surprised.
Alright, well there goes Ezreal. So we have one more Ezreal in the deck. They're also they're at six. Kill this karma and draw a card. Not bad. Cool. We can take a turn refilling with salvage. That's annoying. Take from the rich, give to me. Oh, no. Healing is cheating. Basically. Am I supposed to do like gotcha plus mystic shot and kill karma? Maybe I am. like I was. Alright, so we still lost. A um, couple of things. I should not have played the, the first Ezreal early. Um... That was kind of the, the one thing that I really regret. But then, yeah, I guess if I would have targeted the Karma, maybe that would have been better. That la that very last turn, but still. Yeah, I wish, yeah, wish I would have not played that and it's real that early. That's the thing about our deck is we're not we're not a very good at like we're not very good at winning whenever we play um, like right when we play Ezreal. We're not very good at winning. Like we don't have I don't know like we just don't have that ability it feels like. Thanks, Warmonger. I got the gates. This is so greedy. This is so greedy, isn't it? If they have if they have something to deal with my 3-2, I'm, I'm gonna hate this play. Darn it. They have something to deal with the 3-2. I hate that play. Minus poner permanently vulnerable. Just trade here, draw a card. Yuck. Uh, no K Flax, nope. Moved on to this game instead. And highly, highly recommend it if you haven't checked out Legends of Runeterra yourself.
So Mega Rain will be two targets for Ezreal. We'll have Static Shock be another two targets. We'll kill this Wanderer. So six. I would like to trade here because, of course, whenever they become deep, the beast below gets a lot bigger. They are ten cards away from deep. They can probably rifle through ten cards in a short amount of time. Fast? Just pass? They want to like six drop this thing. Why is it always? Ugh. I was thinking they're gonna play the six mana sea monster, and then I was gonna static shock and level this up. Possible I'm just not good at Ezreal Control. <laughs> Maybe this just does, does not fit my playstyle. But yeah, I definitely thought they were gonna play that six mana thing. I was gonna like static shock them both. I was gonna untap, um, you know, with a leveled up Ezreal, like do all this damage. It was gonna be amazing. But it didn't happen. That card, Devour the Depths. The water rises. Yeah, it would have been a sick read. Didn't work. We, we are in too deep, as some 41 would tell us. All right, can we burn him out? Yeah, there's Ez. We found Ez. All right, I'm playing this to block. I feel like I need to give them some more mushroom clouds before they start drawing. No! Really? Oh, okay, yeah, good that thing. Wait, but still. Uh, now we gotta block with Ez. Really? That hired gun? Man, what a card. Hired gun. And the car was great twice. You know, that was great on, on turn three. Great here, that's twice that they wrecked me with a hired gun. 
I guess it's turn two. Yeah, turn two the first time. I need them to draw cards. Dang it, draw puff caps. spells go five for five Behold my masterwork. no there it is real we went five for five then like static shock would kill these two and we'd again have a chance Well, they, they have to draw three puff caps on this one card. <laughs> or me draw some more burn. These aisles will be cleansed. Yeah, the higher guns were really good. No, they didn't draw any puff caps. There are, like, so many things, like, decisions that, you know, like, coin flip decisions that I went one way and then my opponent completely punished me. Like that happened over and over and over. Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought we were we were good with the Ezreal, but yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, I mean, there's twice, yeah, I mean. Twice played the Ezreal thinking that I was good and I wasn't. Yeah, bested by the deep deck. I was not expecting to lose that. I don't know, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just not good with this deck. Or just Ezreal in general. I feel like I'm not a good Ezreal player. Or just... I'm like a... <clears throat> I take riskier lines, I guess, with Ezreal. I, I'm not like super, super safe with Ezreal. And, and it seems like my opponent always has the thing to punish me for, for playing it risky with the card. true. We have been streaming for over 10 hours. Thanks, WQ. Yeah, no, I I know I'm a good player, but it's just... I don't know, it's just... What you looking for? When you get... When you keep getting burned so many times in a row, it feels... makes you feel like something's going... like you're... you know, that you're doing something wrong. Which, likely I am. Save me, Luke. Hmm. We seek all. 
cool. I get Starlet Seer out of here. We'll take five puff caps. Price is due in business. Wow, we finally drew a Twisted Fate. It only took to the third game and like the millionth card we've drawn. We've been like under 20 cards but <laughs> every game. We haven't even seen a Twisted Fate. Did y'all even remember we had this in our deck? Y'all probably didn't even remember we had Twisted Fate in our deck. Because I didn't. I forgot. He had drawn so many cards every game. I hadn't even seen it. Six overwhelm for five mana? What? I'm supposed to deal with that thing. You name it, I'll nick it. That doesn't trigger Ezreal. It's not targeting, it just it just does that effect to the largest unit they got. Our deck looks really bad. What are we gonna do, one damage? Guess we're gonna go do one damage to the, all these five fives and five sixes. Like that's important. Hey, what's up? Fresh Lobster with the raid. Thank you, Lobster. Welcome, everybody, from Lobster Stream. We are currently getting crushed with... With, um... 
whatever this deck is, Ezreal. Twisted Ezreal. Kind of have no shot. Thank you. Thank you, Lobster. Hope you had a good stream. And yeah, so basically we, we're kind of finishing up our 12-hour our stream today. Um, we've played a whole lot of a whole lot of good decks, a whole lot of fun decks, had a lot of success, but uh, our last, you know, kind of save, sort of save the worst for last, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, also, for those of y'all just joining, if you do want to check out any of the other previous deck, that's the YouTube channel right there, youtube.com slash hawktie. Do put up everything on YouTube. This one will be embarrassing, though. Ezreal's my least favorite character now. Champion, whatever. Least favorite champion. He's complaining about me taking too long. What a jerk. Only the strong survive. Stand and fight. Sejuani, why do you have Overwhelm? Dude, our, our Ezreals have just died every single time. Um, yeah, no, I, I really like the opponent's deck. Yeah, I like... I mean, fairly... I guess if I did have to choose a, a favorite region, it probably would be Freljord. Freljord is probably my favorite region. All right, so we, we seems like we've had two decks. Like I know that the, the Bannerman Quinn went one four, but that that deck still I really like that deck, and I you know like um like I like that deck, and we played a lot of really close games. Um, you know, we just went one four, but like the games were super close. Our opponents were just winning. The Neverglade Prankster deck, we were just getting annihilated. Didn't really seem close. And same with this Twisted Ezreal. Like we, we were, we're playing two decks that aren't very good. <laughs> this this deck does not feel, feel very good. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe it's my bad too. I don't know. <sighs> I gotta even know Trump Wombs Salvage. Send them all back, keep them all. We'll get other random cards from our deck. Yeah, we probably could have got yeah, probably could have got that one versus the deep if I would not have rushed Ezreal twice. There's two times that I thought that I was Ezreal safe that it I was not. My opponent had answers for Ezreal. Check out the goods on this one. Um. Very true. Nothing escapes my watch. I got the goods. Well, hopefully we can take some spells from them. 
tilt. I'll kill my 3-1. Alright, cool. Get one of their spells. I don't want to do that pre-combat because then they have the chance to play this Ancient Yeti and then block and then that's bad for me. I want to get a Shared Spoils? Aight. See, like, I want to just play Ezreal right now. Like, I don't want to play any, like, all these other cards. I don't know. I guess I could salvage. Am I not supposed to play Ezreal? I guess we'll just do some blocking, see what happens. I don't know, gotcha. Yeah, I need to pass more, huh? Gotta pass. Don't be James Harden. Pass more. Now can I play Ezreal? I'm going to do it. But I'll probably regret doing it after I lose. United, nothing can stop us. Like how it's been so far. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Firing. You can see the Nebastian border from here. What's that thing at three two? Die to make it rain. Tremble before the wind Come on, that's cheating. That is seriously cheating. Outriders just hits the Scar Maiden Reaver. This thing just has overwhelm and regeneration. Literally cheating. all three. I need to level up Ezreal. Set it all ablaze. Really? What is this? <laughs> oh, man. Sure. 
just 17 9 overwhelm regenerates why not i guess i guess we're at that point of the night aren't we i guess we're at that point of the night All right, we're gonna need some puppy luck. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna get this last one. We're gonna need some puppy luck. Oh, who is that? Is that Harvey down here too? Got the other puppy here. All right, get out of here, Ezreal. You're not helping. Get out of here. Did I take Twisted Fate out of the deck? I don't remember. I feel like I did. I don't remember when I did. Oh, I can't wait. Get out of here. Crimson Disciple. Got him, attack for one. <laughs> yeah, we... We've only drawn Twisted Fates um, one time in all of these games. In this deck where we're drawing lots of cards and everything, <laughs> and there's three, three of them in the deck. Uh, I've only seen it one, one time. And, uh, we lost. Still, by the way. Make the Empire proud. <laughs> Twisted Fate knows it's scary out here. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Fine. That is a pretty silly clip, but no, I'm going to be uploading the whole video. Um, guess I'll just pass. We'll take some overwhelm damage. We'll take four. Basically, I already have like enough YouTube uploads. You know, like we're ha we're having ten YouTube uploads today. I don't really want to upload clips, also. All right, new loco. Have a good one. Pass. Whoa, that worked. I need to pass more often. I didn't know it just worked if you, if you just pass. If people like just don't do stuff. I'm always up for a round or two. Gotcha. All right, so there is this Twisted Fate card in my deck, I suppose. I hadn't seen it yet. I guess we're going to draw cards now. You've been warned. We're going to draw cards. Does this count as drawing? No.
I feel bad for our opponent. They are doing like ac actual nothing. I feel bad for them. Like our Twisted Ezreal deck's gonna beat them. I feel bad for them. That's probably a waste. Yeah, it's probably gonna be like a one turn kill now. Okay, so that I that I tapped out. They probably had like one, you know, twelve mana one turn kill in hand. Looks like trouble. Sharing is sharing. <laughs> Remember the objectives. Oh wait, oh I passed? Oh, well, alright. I passed. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that can describe us right now. We're on a hot streak. Looks like I'm on a hot streak, pup. Think that's the best animation in the game? Now we're gonna, we're gonna let Twisted Fate win this. The red card. Do they have atrocity? That'd be sad. But yeah, they're they're just showing what all those cards in hand that they weren't doing anything. Opponent. They were just trying to do something cool. They're just trying to horns the dragon, double attack us to death. One turn kill. We're over here, gold carding. Okay, so we ended up going one and four. Um, this is not really a deck I'd recommend, honestly. Um, a little bit of bad luck, a little bit of, uh, you know, with like them always having the, the answer they need, like with the Ezreal, a little bit of me playing Ezreal a little too early, I suppose, but a lot of this just seems underpowered. You know, we were not... Um, not able to deal with bigger things. It is cool how fast you can level up Ezreal. Like, that's pretty cool. We could, we were, like, leveling up Ezreal after casting, like, four spells. Because, like, Make It Rain would do two or three. Uh, Static Shock do two. And then, like, pretty soon, like, Ezreal's leveled up. But we, we just don't even have, like... We're not able to, like, kill the opponent with a leveled up Ezreal very quickly. And we can't deal with big things. Karina Verazzo was just fine. I liked this. You know, I think that um, the changes I made actually were, were good, but I just don't think the deck's that good. Um, uh, yeah, I just, you know, we'd even play against like Demacia. I feel like we just can't kill it. Like, killing things with damage these days, especially where like you can only do like three at most. Um, but, uh, yeah. All right, yeah, R Robos, I'll, I'll help you out. All right, but there we go. So that's Twisted Ezreal. Um, even this deck wasn't so good. We still had a lot of other great decks today. Hope you all check them out on YouTube. Thank you, Rex. There's the link to the YouTube with all of the the <laughs> videos on there. All right, but those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, you know, if you're if you're having success with this deck, feel free to let me know in the comments. I I didn't think this deck was felt very good, but you know. 
I would I would also like more information and if you're having success let me know how what what's different what are you doing that I wasn't doing you know all that kind of stuff what like are there different card choices um, anything like that all right but that's it here for Twisted Ezreal so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video